It was a connecting flight that was really late. I didn't want you sending a driver, so I took I was wondering, mm. going by when you called and said you were coming. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. 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 Welcome, my dear. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. At least the Lord God has led you through school mm -hmm. and you serve this simply. That's right. This calls for Thanksgiving and celebration. celebration. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. But hey, well, before you call the whole women cancel, okay? Mm. I want you to do something special for me. Please cook me a meal tomorrow. Not the chef. <laughs> you with your own hands cook me a meal. A special meal tomorrow. I have a surprise for you on that. Surprise? Mm -hmm. Have you landed a job? Well, you are know, prospect here and there. Dad. Come on, that's not a problem. You're not made for this class. That's a big way That's okay. That's okay. Besides, I love surprises. I know you do, Mom. You like the surprise. Uh. Guys, I bought you a lot of stuff. Let's go. 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 Frank, the lady you, you, you say you're waiting for, will she still come? Yes, sir. The food is already getting cold. I know that. She, she usually not this late. Um, there is traffic. Should be here. No traffic. Hey. Oh. Wait a second. I'm not sure. This is my dad. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so, so, thank you. so my parents, my place, the other family is out. Oh. So now we Well, since you're here, let's go to the dining. when Frank was admitted in the hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are you doing now? Uh, I just finished my service in Kano. So I'm, I'm going to try and look for a job here in Yenugu. What were your parents? They're both dead. So you're an orphan then? What about the relations? Mm -hmm. I have severe ties with them. They refused to help me when I was in school. So, so how did you manage to pay your school fees? Frank helped me. Well, what, what the things that I, I did the little I could, but the person that I should actually take credit for, for it is um, my uncle in the U.S. and her aunt in our job. Um, no. You told me your oh, aunt in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot this trip. My uncle and my aunt. So that was the service. 
Once you're a member of this family, it's your home too. Aww, how sweet. <laughs> Frank, I trust you. And I believe in you. And I just want to let you know that no matter what happens, no matter what you go through, I will always be with you. And you'll always have my support. Now the beholder. But I tell you something, Frank. A physical beauty is not uh, enough to judge the worth of a woman. You have to look beyond the wrapping paper and check out the entire package. More so, um, don't allow physical beauty to obsess you. How long have you even known this lady, Preston? I mean, Vanessa. Well, I've known her for years. That we're in school all through, and. Um, we kept in touch all through service. And how much of the family do you know? Yeah, she said her family is dead. And she's not close to the rest. Now, I don't know if you were as eagle-eyed as I was to notice what she wore when she came around this afternoon. I'm not a, f a, a, a fashion merchant though, but I figured out that what she wore was more, what, more than 250,000. 250,000, Naira. Which by every means is not cheap. And going by what she told us, which she corroborated, she couldn't have rested the money, even with her relations. So how come? I don't know. Well, she's been working for at least a year. It's my understanding she might have thought things like that. As a youth copper, right? Now, if you judge financial capability by that, it's nothing. And I want to tell you that if you have not been funding her, Definitely. Other men must have been doing the same. So what are you saying, Dad? What your father is saying is that the girl is too expensive. That's right. You just invited her to lunch. She came dressed as if she was going for a fashion fair. That girl looks and acts too materialistic. She is not a wife material at all. I don't agree with you, Mom. You don't know Venice. I know her. There's nothing wrong with a woman looking good. Women like to look good. Come on, let's don't judge her like that. We care about each other, that's what's important. By the way, this lady that is driving you crazy now, was she not the same Vanessa that, that, that bluntly refused to donate blood for you when you needed it? Well, she, she wasn't feeling well then. Well, under different circumstances, she would gladly give her life for me. Mm. Your son, your son is madly in love. She has gotten into his vein like hard drug and he cannot do without her. I begin to even wonder whether she wants to give him something. But well, this is not my son I used to know. Anyway, that's first unfortunate. It's a pity. Just a pity.
Frank. Sorry. Now that I'm through with your, your service, what are your plans for the future? Um, my dad, I... To start with, I want to join the family component. You know, earn my keep, work my way steadily to the top. And, um, set you down, get married. Fine. Well, since you're interested in working in the family company, you have to be ready to be dedicated. Alright? Yes, and it's a good thing I'm still around, so I will teach you whatever you want to learn about, about the place. My motto has always remained efficiency and consistency. You're going to work under Mr. Juku as a store manager. Mm -hmm. As for your salary and other monuments, the count will not sort that out. But as soon as I leave here, I will talk to Mrs. Asabe on that. Um, I will offer you the V boots and accommodation. Anywhere of your choice. Yes, as for the video, yes, but your mother will buy another car. I have my reward. Let's put you later. If you put that? Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my son. See, every good father has to take proper care of his children. See. Especially when a child or the children are as good as you and you are. For so the marriage issue, Mama, Princess Mama is coming tomorrow. Come to the camps, sir. We'll tell you what happened. Welcome, Princess Emma. The last time you came with your father, my son Frank was in Faraway Casino State, serving this great nation. It's nice to meet you, my parents. Likewise, Princess. Pleasure is on mine. Frank? Here yeah, is Princess Emma. She's a very vast in African way of life. And also a Christian. Very happy for her. She must make her dad very proud. Anyways, I'm dad. I um, I need to go check on the chef. Make sure dinner is ready for. What, what is the name? Ma, beauty, beauty. Um, Carol, my son, go and get dinner ready for beauty. So, how is your daddy? It's fine, right? Do you mention me to him when you get back, right? I wonder what a young woman like you know about marriage. Because you seem quite young. Really? Yes, you are. Mm. By every standard. Mm. So tell me, what is the role of a wife in a man's life? <laughs> okay. If you marry me, mm -hmm. I'll be under you. And I'll do anything the prince pleases. You do anything I please. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen the movie Coming to America? Yeah. You seen the movie? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Wow. What's your favorite part? Okay. Where the bride was introduced to the prince. Absolutely. That's my favorite part too. You know why I like that part? No. Because she was barking like a dog. Hmm. A dumb, stupid, retarded dog. Yeah. 
That's why you like it? That, that is. It's a picture, it's a presentation of stupidity. So, let's enact something. Hmm. Uh, let me check first. You just said a moment ago that you do anything I ask you to do. Anything for my prince. Anything for your prince. Yeah. Alright, my princess. Let us start this way. I want to put your loyalty, your obedience to the test. Okay? Mm. I want you to bleed like a goat. Will that make you happy? That will please me greatly to no end. Okay. Let's go. There's no time. We are going to get married, right? Okay. So bleed like a stupid retarded goat. Man! No, no, no. It might be a No, no, no. I want a big ugly goat. That's this one. Man! No, no, that's a small useless goat. I have no use for small goats. I'm a prince. I like big goats. Mountain goats. Okay. And so bleed like a goat, a big one. I don't do that in my palace, but for you, anything. No, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a different palace. So bleed. Okay. <laughs> Meh! Good. Okay, that's more kind. We can do much better than that. Meh! Meh. Well, go, keep going, keep going. Meh! Keep going, keep going. Meh! Don't stop, don't stop. Am I doing it right? Yes, you're, you're doing better than I expected. Are you coming back? Meh! Don't tell me to drink of water and come back and we'll continue the conversation of our candy man. Oh, okay. Meh! To the wall, to, to the wall. Face, face, face that side. Ah, oh, okay. Meh! Louder. Meh! I'll kill my face. I can't hear you. Ah! Can you hear that? I can't hear you. Meh! Dad. Mom. I am asked to see you because... I want to discuss a matter of um, great urgency. One I believe is paramount to my life right now. You see, I've come of age and I want to settle down. I want to settle down with the woman of my dreams. And that woman is Vanessa. And I want your support. Frank, my son, of all the projects a man embarks on, Marriage is the most important, the most challenging. Which is why the Bible said that he who finds a wife or a woman finds good thing. Yes. A woman makes a man to be more stable at home. Enterprising and, and, and industrious and progressive. But the question remains, who is this woman? How can we find one? There are many fishes in the ocean. How do we... Pick the right woman. She's the right woman. I know. We have mutual respect for each other. We share sentiments regarding love and our outlook and perspective to life. It's it's the same. I'm not wrong here. She's the one for me. I just want you to bless it, to support it. My son, perhaps you don't know that love is not the be-all and all in your relationships. A time will come in the course of this relationship of yours. You've got to find out that you need more than love in your partner to survive. That brings me to the issue of, do you know who she is? Ask yourself this pertinent question. Who is Vanessa? What's her background? What's her foundation? What's her upbringing? Not until you know all this. You now begin to make a choice. Can she stand for me, stand for me in times of trouble? When, 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 when the going gets tough? Because marriage is all about uh, until life do us part. We've talked about this consistently and recently she said it again. That she'll stand with me, come thick or thin. Regardless of the situation, she'll be with me. And I know. Yes, you believe her. You don't know that there will be a storm in the course of this relationship. There will. Evidently, I noticed it in her the last time she came around. She had this so much interest for wealth and affluence. And that makes her a vain woman, as far as I am concerned. And this is why we are saying that she is not the right woman for you. Maybe you should look elsewhere. Because we mean the best for you. You are our son. 
we cannot deceive you our business our interest is to make sure you will have a woman that will make you happy and make the entire family happy that is what we're saying it's not that we're, we're depriving you from getting married no marry yes but let it be the right one and as far as we're concerned vanessa doesn't have the qualities of that right woman we're, we're, we're thinking about that she's the one for me i wear this shoe i know it pinches i understand that better the most she understands me as well what should be paramount here is how I feel, my love for her and hers for mine. What else? She, it's, it's come to a point right now where this is becoming precarious. Because with or without your support, I will do it. I can't do it alone, I acknowledge that. But I cannot leave her either. I don't want to hear of this separation. I cannot live without her. Not, 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 not that you tried to send to me. You better hear it, Mom. Hear it. We are not supporting you one bit. We are not supporting you, not because your Vanessa is not beautiful or educated. No. The family interest is at stake here. She has shown herself selfish and unreliable. The blood has fission. Showed me all I needed to know about her. A large family like ours. Needs a kind of woman that can hold it together. You and Vanessa cannot do it. Yeah, okay. On our bus, we want to learn and change some videos. No one goes to be free. Give you a copy, mama. We are warning you. I'm going to leave, mama. You can see how happily married I, 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 your mother have remained. And that is what we wish you. But this is going on, okay? You can get to hear me. Nah, 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 nah. Mama. If you ever come back, I just want to be a chazo. I'm not letting go of you. You're my Oh, father, you raised me well, and I'm not a child anymore. I wasn't what I did. Vanessa, I found you another. Bro, was. Go see. Yeah, I'm going to ask again. But I'm going to. I'm going. I'm going to even 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 do more than anything. Okay. What question? I want to perform the um, one card ceremony in WTV. Did I hear you right? That's your right time. Sit down. I understand. It's a ceremony. Frank, my son, I worked very hard at your age. By the grace of God, I'm rich today. Some say I'm very rich. It takes a whole lot of hard work to make money. But it takes lesser effort and lesser time to squander the money so made. Um, I suffer to make money because I didn't want my children and grandchildren to go through what I went through. I wanted to give them better life and I don't think there is anything wrong with that. You are my first son and definitely when I'm no more you will step into my shoes. But you will not do that unprepared. That means you have to have a sound and solid foundation. Otherwise, what I labored with your mother over these years will go down the drain. Mother, I don't get it. What are you saying? I'm undependable. Frank, um, you, you really have changed. I don't know what brought about this change, especially during the later part of your school life. Anyway, I am not giving up. Um, what I want is if you want to marry, you must marry right. Because the woman that you marry has a lot of role to play in bringing about 
success and harmony in the entire family. Based on that, I am not in support of this woman you said you want to marry. I don't like her. So for that reason, you're biased. I know her better than most. She's a simple, good-natured woman. She just, she just misunderstood when you say her from the start. But she's materialistic and selfish. And before you know it, she'll make you turn your back against your, 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 your family, which is what we don't want. But you do not know her, so how can you say that? What do you mean by all this? It may not be obvious to you, but that's the blunt truth. I've been able to succeed both in life and business by reading appearances. She started influencing your life way back in school. And there is no, there is no evidence that she will not continue with that. We're talking about a future wife here. I still insist you're all wrong. Frank, it might interest you to know that we have discussed this matter exhaustively in the family. We don't want that woman as your wife. But if you insist on marrying her, you can go ahead. You are your own. No member of this family will support you. And let me remind you, no parent will watch or do anything to, 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 to hurt his child. Whatever we're doing is collectively in the interest of the entire family. What interest are we talking about here? Your interest or mine? Are they going to marry Melissa? Is any of them going to live with her? Do they even know her enough? What is the real reason here? Because she's poor and she has no background? She does not befit your, your kingly status? Is that what the real problem here is? So what is it? What is it? Taking positions on a woman you all barely know? How about me? What about my happiness? Does it bear any consequence here? It's all about you, you, you alone. And that's why you're so wealthy and none of you reflects in our lifestyle. You put us down every door of our life. Squeeze every one of us in a box. When I'm tired of living like that. We or without you, I'll marry her. And uh, just wait a minute. Before you become a runaway prince, just wait for me. I have a gift for you. So, my son, that's it. Thank you. Bible. That's the word of God. That's all. What is it about you? So, everything, the whole bottom line of all this sermon came down to giving me a Bible. A Bible. What about my happiness? You're so quick to point out what is in this book. Which one of them have you practiced? You gave me a Bible. But I don't need it. I know what I don't need you. From today onwards that you cease to be my father. Come on, come on, come on. I don't need you. Since you're not going to say anything, I must tell you what is on my mind. I think you're handling this all wrong. Why don't you listen to your parents? Listen to their words of admonition and caution. I think they mean well. Please. I'm still going ahead with the wedding. Huh. 
fam, that that will be taking a bold but stupid step. I don't expect you to understand. You've always had a prejudiced point of view, and it's true. I never liked Vanessa. I don't expect you to understand. And that brings me to this whole business of being here. Why am I here? What am I doing here? things like that we're not poor i'm doing everything i can without within my resources i bring money home all the time how can you satisfy me what money do you bring back home how can you take care of me how can you take care of this family from that mega civil servant salary frank when you knew me in school was i like this frank was i like this was i wearing this rag was i like this what is the problem this is not what you promised me. This is not the life you promised me. What you promised me for better for you? 
You said you'd be there till the end. You, you, you said you'd be with me no matter the circumstances. I beg you. I remember promising you anything like this. It's just a try, just for a short time. I'm a civil servant. It's a career job and you know it. I've had two promotions in no time. You know I'll write to the top. My future is bright. What else do you want? You want me to kill for you? I cannot continue like this, oh. I cannot continue like this. I have lost the rest of Of late, you've been a little unhappy with what is going on here with the condition. It's not my fault, neither is it yours. I don't want you to look at it like the end of the world because it's no condition that's permanent. We're a young couple, we have our lives in front of us, we have dreams, aspirations. I'm hardworking. I'm well driven, I'm smart, I'm ambitious, you know sooner or later it will happen, then I can dignify you with everything you need on earth, with all the respect I have for you already and all the love, I can contain anything, anything life throws at me, the severance with my family, this hardship. What I can deal with is this coolness. You know how much I rely on you, how much I need your support. And so please. Still trying to find direction. Hey. Still trying to find direction. Like a ship without like a ship. I have lost my wrench yard. Oh, 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 oh. Like a bird without it. I can't find it. I can't roll. Bad son. What's up? Bad son. <laughs> I don't want what's going on. I'm fine. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, Vanessa. Ever looking graceful. Yeah. Like this. Oh, come on. Ajero, like this. You, you are beautiful. Don't you know that? Trust me. Exactly. <laughs> I don't believe it. Ajero. Yeah. Now you roll this machine. Come here. Well, this is about the cheapest in my garage, you know. Yeah, I just use it to run about errands, you know, get a little around for the street. <laughs> well, as you can see, I've really made it, you know. I've been around the world, traveling around. I was in, I, I was in Johnny's book when I heard about the baby. Whoa, my little girl. Uh, you come to daddy, come and have your wedding. Okay, come to daddy. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So hey, meet up like Jay. I went to school with him. Oh, <laughs> beautiful girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's been crying. She's a little hungry, but yeah. So, uh... Frank, is this where you reside? Yeah, this is my house. For real? Mm. I can't believe you've gone that cheap and you reside in this kind of dilapidated old house with cheap flowers around. Come on, Gerald. I mean, there's no wrong with living here. Not even my get my house. I'll tell you, Gerald. You've made your point. Um, we're going to church. Yeah, we're going to church. Are you trekking? Oh, well. <laughs> Well, it's funny. My car actually started this morning when I came down to warm it. You know how cars, even a new car like this can start. I started it, the car will start. But it's not too far, so we decided to walk anyway. Anyway, let me not disturb you guys from your church service. I, I have some business to run around now. I'll, I'll call you, I'll come okay, see you guys okay. later. Okay? Adieu. 
I hope you bought something for me. Oh, come on. I hope you bought something for me. Baby, relax. See, I'll call you. I'll give you a call. And I'll take you to a shopping mall. And I'll spoil you. Okay? I'm looking forward to that, too. Yeah, I'll see you later. Um, Ajara, are you heading our way by any chance? Uh, this way? That yes, way? just just the, the winners uh, at the beginning of this. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I'm taking this way. Uh, I'm not going that way. You couldn't give us a ride? Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, we got, it's not for anyway. Can you move? Let's, let, listen, listen, um, Benissa, we're running late. Can you hold the, uh, the, the umbrella? The baby's hot, that's why she's been crying. Hold the umbrella, and hold up. Protect your child from the sun. Nonsense. See your mates. See your mates. They are driving cars. You're trekking to church. Stop There's nothing wrong with trekking. You're adding weight anyway. You can use some So um, buy food stuff. Um, you're going to the um, market today, right? No, not today. I thought you said there's no food at home. Yeah, uh, Ajiro is coming to take me shopping today. You're joking, right? Are you against your friend taking me for shopping? Oh, you're jealous. This is preposterous. This is there's no point in addressing this. It's crazy. Joke of the century. You are jealous. You are jealous about his accomplishment. Nonsense. Well, if you have a problem with this, why didn't you say it in front of him? You were there when Nigeria promised that he was going to take me shopping. Well, you're a married woman. I don't have to tell you things to avoid. Things like your friend taking me out for shopping, right? Frank, since I married you, I've not bought anything new for myself. I'm still wearing old clothes, old jewelry, old shoes, things I've had since school. And that's how many years ago. Yet I'm supposed to be married to the heir. No, I'm not. Okay, look at me. I used to be very comfortable, Frank. I used to be very comfortable and you know that. I'm not used to living like this. Frank, I'm not used to living like this. I'm being forced, forced to manage. I don't know how to do it, y'all. Eh? I don't know how to do it. Go out and do what other men do to support their families. Yeah, Mr. Osondu, straight to my office. Okay, I want you to see. Mr. Osondu, Sir? you are four people. Did you go through this far? I don't think you did. Because if you did, you, you will know you have become a problem to this department. Three days ago, a fiber you was returned, and now this. What is the problem? Wait, you, you, you know how sensitive your position is in this apartment. You know files from you out, forwarded to other ministries. You want to think we're incompetent? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I really, I really didn't mean it. It was just a slight oversight. I mean. What is your problem? I'm having family problems. Listen, everyone has family problems. You are a man. Such your family problems are at home and not in the office. Yes, sir. Listen, repeating this kind of costly blunder, I will not hesitate in putting your, your, your name among the list of those that will be returned. And you are aware that some staff will be returned soon. Oh, please, I'm, I'm so sorry. I need this job. I, I just started a new family. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll, I, will, I will redo it all over again and I'll submit it in good time, please. Now, I don't know what you have to do about this. Good day. Oh, 
Oh, she's out. Oh, she's out. Oh, she's out. I have traveled many miles far and wide to ride the right direction. Back. Since when? Since morning. Jesus Christ. I have been to strange places. Have you eaten? To ride the right to be somewhere. You know what? I need to go and get this open.
Better than do what a real man would do and find a way to, to support, 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 support your family. Whatever name that work. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to work. I have been to many strangers' places trying to find some peace of mind. Oh, oh. I have wasted all this precious days Trading on so dangerously Oh, I wish I had one clue mm. Disregard of what mama said I wish I did what father said Oh, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, yeah. mm. Still trying to find yeah. direction yeah. Trying to find well, I just uh, increased by one the statistics of the unemployed in this country. Meaning? Well, there have been talks of downsizing in the ministry for a while now. It finally happened. I didn't think I'd be affected. Uh, Frank, I, I thought you were the vice of the ministry. Well, there are certain nights. Stars don't shine. I guess Vanessa must have contributed to that. She must have nagged you out of her concentration and dedication to your work. I'm sure of that. What is wrong with you? Must every misfortune be about Vanessa? Huh? You think that's fair? Frank, I know she has always been your problem. Right from school days. Till she strained the relationship you had with your parents and your siblings. Frank. I keep telling you, go home and make peace with your people. Your pride will kill you. Can't you see you have made a mistake? Can't you? I made a mistake? Is that what you're saying? Yes. I guess the money wasn't enough to satisfy her needs. You know, I've really had it with you. What is your problem? Why are you talking to me like this? What gave you the right? Because I'm in your house? You're speaking to me like this? Talking about my wife like that? Frank. What am I doing here? What the hell am I doing here? What? What? Frank, Frank. Hey, I'll go to hell. Frank, I'm sorry. Hey! Frank, Frank! Frank! Ajay, you have to help me. I have nowhere else to go. It breaks my heart to watch my daughter hungry every day. I can't feed my family. I can't go back to my father. You know who I am, what I stand for. It took me every ounce of my pride to come here. Well, Frank, I'm your friend. You don't need to speak for that. What are friends for? I mean, if I can't help you, why am I your friend? But the issue here is, how exactly do you want me to call me? I want you, I want you to bring me in on your business. Bring me in on all this. I don't even need all this. I just need enough. Something that will be sufficient to feed my family, to hold my head up as a man, guarantee my daughter's future. It's not asking for too much. Frank, do you know what I do? I mean, do you know what I do? You know how I made all these things you see in here? I mean, two serious importations. I mean, importation of big machineries, you know, like caterpillars, you know, tractors, cranes, and all that. So, how do you expect to come into when you don't even have a dime? It's very, very capital intensive. Okay, not to worry. Uh, are you actually sure you want to do what I do to make money? 
I mean, if I ask to do anything, are you ready to get into any business, no matter what it involved? Oh, I see your spirit is very willing now. Because what I do is far, 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 far away from what I've been telling you since. I have a business proposal with a general. If it goes through, you may not have to worry about money anymore. Really? Wasn't it the same Nigeria you accused me of flirting with? That's probably wrong. I hope this goes through. I pray it does. If it does, our money worries will be over. I'm doing this for my little girl. Well, whatever. Problem lies that there's a reason why you're doing it. Is to turn life around. As the little girl's life will change. Yeah, she'll have a future. Thank you again. Best of luck. I'm doing this for my little girl. Well, whatever. Problem lies that there's a reason why you're doing it. Is to turn your life around. As the little girl's life will change. Yeah, she'll have a future. Thank you. Best of luck.
You like this house? Well, your dream just came true, baby. I paid for this house um, yesterday. Every cube of the 45 million of its worth. And uh, the papers were signed yesterday, so it's yours. And I bought it in your name, too. Every bit of it. Every swim bit of it. <laughs> yeah, I do oh for my You know, I know what you've been through with me, and this is my gift amongst many more to come. I love you. Listen, <clears throat> you know what? This is just the beginning. There's money. Yeah? yeah? It's crawling everywhere. I smell new money. Whatever you want, point is yours. Seriously. You know that TI video, my favorite video? Mm -hmm. MTV mm -hmm. You can have whatever, whatever you want. want. Uh -huh. Be that girl in the video. Whatever you point at. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> we'll go shopping. Shopping. Where? eBay, Internet, Gucci, JVC, whatever. Point. Okay, it's it's yours. I, I, you know what? I give you two million. Buy whatever you want. No, fill your wardrobe. Okay, I don't like the way you're looking at me. I'll give you three million. Go do what you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. Uh, we'll throw big parties. Parties? What kind of parties? We're having a housewarming party. You trust me. To be the biggest in the state. Not my word. You can throw one after that every two weeks if you like. Okay, we'll travel to London, Paris, Rome. Milan, Johannesburg, Brazil. You know, baby, I thought my wife had game, but now I'm obviously wrong, baby. You Get out of here! You know now to spend money is obvious. Okay, you know what? Uh -huh. You know what? I'll think of you. Oh, you, you have to think more. about it. Yeah, whatever. I'll I thought about right it. now you get it I off your head. I'm thinking you were gonna be crying. Me? Take me to my new house. My problem is how to spend this money. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being by me all this time. I love you too. I thank you for taking care of me. My pleasure. Yes, I propose a toast to you. The finest woman alive. I have wandered through the past without a sign. Trying to find my way back home. Oh, oh. Now I have lost my discretion, but it wasn't mine. What do you really do? Why do you want to know? I mean, everything. The, the, the trip, the business, your, your partner, this money. How do you imports and exports? What do you import and what do you export? I don't understand you, you know. You said you wanted money. We have it now. Lots of it. Doesn't matter. Why don't you think I deserve to know what you do? Some stories are the best left untold. Ask no questions and you find no lies. Try me. 
You might be surprised. I do drugs. I deal hard drugs. That's what I do. That's the important export I do. <laughs> It's okay. I don't mind it, as long as you don't get caught. It's fine. Vanessa. What? Look, this country is hard. And anything anyone does to, to make ends meet and to survive, doesn't really matter. Vanessa. Are you ashamed? It's okay. Trust me. I risk my life a lot to do this, you know. I know. And I know you do it for me. You know, this will cost a lot of money. I know, but it's an investment. Yeah. Listen, it's a great idea, like I said, but um, that's what we do. And I just started uh, my own um, businesses. So give me a couple of years, let mine sit properly then. Next two years, we'll, we'll hit you with yours. Why do you always do this, Frank? Do what? Why do you always do this? I hate it when you do this thing, and you always do it. Anytime it comes to whatever I want, you start stalling. Just to open business for me and tell me to wait for two years. Frank, let me wait forever now. What's the point? Let me wait forever. In short, you know what? Just leave it. I'm just don't worry. Keep your money to yourself. What is your problem? I'm not saying you I'm not going to do it. I thought this plan is for you and I. For our baby. Frank, I said forget it. I don't want it again. Don't you understand? I said give me a little time. I'll sort it out. That's how it's done. One must feed off of the other. It's okay. I'll borrow the money from somewhere. I'll look for the money and start it myself. Why do you think you can borrow that kind of money? Do you know the amount we're talking about? Whatever. There are people who are willing to give it to me. People like Ajero. Benny, what did you say? You heard me. What? What? What have I done to deserve this? Why do you always treat me like trash? Yes. All I do is love you and support you. I've supported you from your final year in college till now. What haven't I done to show how much I love you? I severed links with my family, my friends, everybody I know. I've been through hell, I'm back for you. What have you ever done for me? What have you ever sacrificed for me? Why are you always breaking my heart and making me feel bad? Because you think I'm a slave to you because I love you? Frank, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being a kind and good husband. Take your daughter. about 
No questions. No lies. But I'll tell you something though. When I come back from this one, we're done. We're set up for life. Trust me. Okay. Huh? I trust you. It's my girl. I have been to many strangers places. <laughs> Trying to find some peace of mind. Oh, oh. Hello. Hey, hello, darling. How are you? How are you? What's happening? Get him out, okay? It only cost me a little money, but I'll get him out. I'll do everything within my capability to get him out. I see, Vanessa, Frank is my very good friend, okay? And I'm gonna do everything within my capability to get him out. Oh, Vanessa, this is not you. What happened? Why did you just let yourself go? You don't care how you look any longer. Oh, you were a very beautiful woman, very captivating, and believe me, you still are. Remember way back in school, you used to be the most beautiful girl on campus. Huh? See, Frank might be in jail, yes, but it's not the end of Please, Vanessa, don't start. Don't, because I hate to see beautiful girls, especially you, crying. See, I am here, and I will make things right. I'm ready to make you start living again. Okay? Okay? So wipe your tears and stop crying. All right? Cool. See, Vanessa, do me one favor. Just get up, go into this room, put on something beautiful and nice. I want to take you out to a Chinese restaurant now. What am I dressing up for? Oh, come on, you're dressing up for something because I want to get you out of this mood. <laughs> don't say no, come on, don't say no. Just get up. Okay, I want to get you off this mood. I have 
Until he finishes his sentence. I mean, he's so unfortunate he has been made a scapegoat. Frank does not deserve this. Oh, Vanessa, you are the person who doesn't deserve the punishment you're going through. I mean, do you want to kill yourself because of Frank? A man who deliberately jeopardized his life and death of his family by going into drug trafficking? If he had come to me for money, come on, I would have given him enough money to start himself out. Vanessa, you've been too nice to this guy. You've been very nice. You deserve something better. I mean, you need to enjoy your life. It's too short. Come on, Vanessa. Come on. Stop all this. See, I am here for you, okay? And I'm going to see you through this, all right? Huh? Good. What are you doing? Oh, come on, Vanessa, why I can see you know I've ever loved you mm -hmm. or to our university mm -hmm. days. Would you take me to prison? You're a devil. Get out of my house. Excuse me? I said leave my house. Are you asking me out of your house? Ajay, get out of my house. Do you realize what you're doing? Because Frank is going to rot in jail. I mean, he's going to rot in jail. Get out! Saying you, I'm not going to do it. I thought this plan is for you and I, for our baby. Frank, I said forget it. I don't want it again. Don't you understand? I said give me a little time. I'll sort it out. That's how it's done. One must feed off of the other. It's okay. I'll borrow the money from somewhere. I'll look for the money and study myself. What do you think you can borrow that kind of money? Do you know the amount we're talking about? Whatever. There are people who are willing to give it to me. People like Ajero. Any? What did you say? You heard me. What have I done to deserve this? Why do you always treat me like trash? All I do is love you and support you. I've supported you from your final year in college till now. What haven't I done to show how much I love you? I severed links with my family, my friends, everybody I know. I've been through hell and back for you. What have you ever done for me? What have you ever sacrificed for me? Why are you always breaking my heart and making me feel bad? 
Does she think I'm a slave to you because I love you? Frank, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being a kind and good husband. Take your daughter. to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. To you, Frank, Lord. Lord, you are the only God that we know, the only God that I serve, the great I am that I am, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the ancient of days, Father. I commit him into thy hands that you take up the control of all the problems going on, Father, Lord. Father, that he shall be released from that jail in the name of Jesus, Father. I don't have any other person to talk to but you, my Lord. I don't know any other God to serve but you. Father, I hear my prayers when I hear the cries of your daughter. Father, take control in the name of Jesus. Father, for you are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, Lord. I have no other person to talk to but you, Father. Take absolute control of this situation, Lord. For no evil fashion against us shall prosper. Father, for you are the great I am that I am. Father, for you, has, you have given us the, the, the power to dread on serpents and scorpions. Father, take absolute control of this situation. Father. But I take absolute control, but I believe, Lord, that your son Frank shall be released in the name of Jesus. But that he shall be released from jail in the name of Jesus. But that he shall be released from jail in the name of Jesus, brother. And I shall continue to worship you. I shall continue to praise you and bless you and glorify your name. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Okay, nobody's perfect, huh? I'll take it to France. Get to France. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's alright. Stop crying. Come on. God bless you. It's alright. Nobody's perfect, alright? Stop crying. Stop look at me now. Find your highness. That's why you came. I was almost on my way out for uh, an Alfala festival before I sighted you. I knew something was amiss. Any problem? Well, your highness, I brought um, Frank's wife and your granddaughter. My granddaughter? Last. What's your name? Yes, 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 uh, it's divine. Uh, Your Highness, Vanessa has something to tell you. I see. I'm out ears. Your Highness. Mama. I've come to ask for the forgiveness of this family. For all the heartache I've caused. I know I shouldn't have married your son without your approval. But that was when I was careless. That was when I was carefree. That was when I didn't know the Lord. Mama. Mama. Please. Please forgive me and my husband for all the heartache. Of course. I'm really sorry. I know it might be difficult. I know it might be difficult for you to forgive us, but just know that now I seek the face of God and the face of this family. I'm sorry. Well, um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, while he was on the cross of Calvary, Forgave all those who persecuted him. Man, who am I, a man mortal, to do otherwise? Get up, my daughter. No. No, 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 no. I'm not worthy to be called your daughter. You are. No. You are the mother of my grandchild. This is why I'm here. Please. 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 Um, divine, that reminds me, what about your friend? Your Highness, he's, he's abroad. I hope there's no problem. The, the person you traveled with was caught with cotton, Your Highness. Hey! Jesus Christ! Broad is the road that leads to destruction. There's not much you can do for him apart from praying for him. For God to see him through. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what is it? So the Jack, get the doctor! So what? Get the doctor, Jack! Get the doctor, Jack! Get the doctor, Jack! Get the doctor, Hello? Uh, yeah, Dr. Ma, please, this is an emergency. Yes, come to me. She forced me to smile. Just laugh right away. Yes, yes, right now. Yes, thank you. Oh, God. God, we are here. Darling. My dear, I'm here. Jeff. Yes, dad, I'm here. Where is Carol? 
Daddy, I'm here too. Frank. My darling wife. My wonderful children. I tried my best to raise a Christian family. A Christian family where love and unity prevails, the love of God. I'm not disappointed in any way. Frank, I know with time he's going to realize that I love him just like a good father would love his first son. Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa, you are part of us. Just yes. remain your status steadfast love for God. It is a miracle of making God. I need for a few peace. Please, my dear, stop talking like this. You're scaring us. <laughs> when the twilight drum beats, mortals must answer. What drum is that? What mortals? You're scaring us, dear. Stop Jeff. talking like this. Yes, Dad. I'm here. Most people are strong for the family. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Served the purpose. They, they've wanted him for a long time. Oh, Father. But I thank you for this day. I praise you. What's Angel? 
She's with the mother and cow. Why? Sweetie, a lot has happened since you left. I sought the face of God and found him. I'm a changed person. No more living on the first line. This is a straightforward way. Steph, Carol, Jeff, and Mrs. Osondo each to choose an estate of their choice. To Frank, I am leaving my Bible, the Word of God, and all the treasures we need for him. I told you. I told you. I told you we should not have come here. What are we doing here? Sweetheart, sweetheart. Look at this. Sweetheart, please calm down. No matter what, he was your father. Let's just take the back. He was not my father. He hated me. Frank. And he hated you too. No, no. no Frank. The humiliation is there. Frank. Please, it's a gift from your dad. Do it for me, an angel. Okay? Do it if you love me. I'll take it. Leave this cursed place. What did I ever do to deserve all this? What did I do to deserve all this? All I did was love him. Why does he hate me like this? There's something in it.
this will supersedes any will I must have drafted, if ever Frank will discover it. To Frank, my first son, I give custody over all my properties. He's in a position to allot what he feels to his mother and brother Jeff. In essence, what he gives them is the rest of the property they will inherit. Frank is heir to all my property. Where is he? Is he in Yes, I actually I know. I love Frank so much. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> Direction. 